Hello, everyone. This is Ms. Pneumatic here. In the last video, we learned about the basic drawing symbols and port notation of the directional control valves. We will continue from the sixth one in this video. Sixth. One of the attached control valve position symbols represents an initial state which is yet to be controlled, and the other one indicates the controlled state. As you can see, the external piping symbol remains connected as it is, so the position symbol can be moved sideways to change status. As for the valve on the 3 position, the intermediate position indicates a neutral state with no external force applied on both sides. According to the arrangements, if the position symbols are arranged side to side, the right side is in an initial state while the left one is in a controlled state. If arranged top to bottom, the lower part is in an initial state while the upper part is in a controlled state. Note, however, that notation may slightly vary from the products and the manufacturers. Now, let's take a look at how the position of the directional control valve is being switched with this example of five port drawing symbols. Once this right-hand side symbol becomes activated, the supplied fluid is displayed on the work port 2 after going through the supply port 1. The consumed fluid goes through the work port 4 to be discharged through the exhaust port 5. And the port 3 is blocked from fluid flow. On the contrary, if the left-hand side symbol becomes activated, the supply fluid goes through the port 1 to be displayed on the port 4. The consumed fluid goes through the port 2 and is discharged through the port 3. And then, the port 5 will become closed circuit. As you can see from these examples, the direction of the fluid changes as the initial and controlled states take turns. 7th. The operation method of the position switching valves is shown on both sides of the position symbol. The operation method that activates the left side symbol is displayed on the left, while that of the right hand symbol is shown on the right. There are many different types of operation methods. Manual operation, such as push buttons, levers, and pedals, Electrical operations, such as solenoids. Mechanical operations, such as plungers, springs, and rollers. And pressurized operation, such as direct and indirect operation, pilot. Let me compare the drawing symbols and the internal structure drawings based on the five-port single-acting solenoid valve by KCC Company Limited. Once again, a spring and an internal pilot are located on the right side of the valve. On the left side of the valve, you can find the internal pilot, solenoid, and manual push button. I'll connect this valve to the cylinder to see how the direction of fluid flow changes as the valve changes positions. The right-hand side symbol, which is currently in an initial state, has been activated. The supply fluid goes through the port 1 to the port 2 so as to advance the cylinder rod. This causes the fluids inside the cylinder to be discharged through the port 4 and then 5. Port 3 is being blocked by a spool. Let me switch the position of the valve. Power is now given to the solenoid on the left side. This will cause the spool to move, changing the fluid flow path. The fluid goes through the port 1 and then port 4, and is eventually discharged through the port 2 and then port 3. Port 5 becomes blocked. That's it for today. We've learned about the pneumatic symbols of the pneumatic directional control valves through Part 1 and Part 2. How was it? Did you find it hard? The drawing symbols used as examples in the video are only a part of the commonly used ones. 
there are even more diverse symbols, which I will cover later on if the occasion calls for it. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. Please leave comments below if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Miss Pneumatic Channel is working together with KCC Precision.